I know, I know, I told you that I prefer low stockage shoes, uh, but for training and uh, for racing, let's check it out after a quick intro with the, the new Adizero Adios Pro version 2. Enjoy! Welcome back guys in another Koryamone shoe review video. Uh, this is a special review because we are talking about the new Adizero uh, Adios Pro version 2 uh, on the top of the lineup of Adidas running shoes, especially for racing. This is a pair of shoes that I bought with my money and no one is paying me for this review. The Adios Pro 2, uh, just like the Adios Pro 1, uh, is extremely difficult to purchase because Adidas hasn't managed to fix their supply issues. Um, so thanks to my retailer, I it available. Uh, thank you Vimu for this amazing service. If you like the video please don't forget to leave a like and uh, if you don't want to miss any new video uh, consider to subscribe uh, and activate the notification here below so you will support uh, uh, the channel making me happy. You can follow me in uh, Instagram and in Strava uh, where I put uh, all my daily updates uh, in and uh, more insights about the shoe I'm reviewing uh, and testing. Uh, you can find all the links in the description here below. You probably have seen recently that uh, even for not monetized channel uh, like Koryamone, um, YouTube is proposing advertisements, but still this channel don't have uh, uh, any support from YouTube because we still don't have uh, uh, reached the 1000 subscribers. Uh, so consider to subscribe to support directly the channel and watch more show reviews. Say that the Adidas Pro 2 is definitely an high tech uh, road neutral resin carbon shoe of a 10 mm drop, 39.5 mm in the heel, uh, just below the World Athletics limit, uh, and uh, 29.5 mm in the forefoot, and with a weight of 8.6 ounces, uh, 245 grams uh, for the uh, 10.5 sides for the male version, and uh, 7 ounces, uh, 198 uh, grams for the US uh, 6.5 sides in the female version. Uh, it is another 12.6 mm in the forefoot and uh, uh, 76.3 mm uh, narrow in the heel. In comparison with the previous model, uh, which review video you can find up here, um, it is more curated uh, in the details and uh, even with a better upper, in my opinion, uh, which was already great uh, in the uh, version 1. But let's proceed per steps, uh, starting as usual from the running dynamics matrix uh, collected, which are basically the uh, average count count of time, which is the time between uh, the first part of your uh, foot touch the ground and the last part of your foot leaves the ground. The lower ground count of time indicates a better efficiency. And uh, the other metric is the uh, vertical oscillation ratio, uh, which is the ratio between the vertical oscillation and the stride length, uh, uh, we should be less than 10% in order to be more efficient. And here you can see the different values collected and then the comparison with other shoes and you can notice for which pace the shoe is better. In the five tests I executed a different pace. In this case I executed two more tests um, with a faster pace uh, um, in order to check how the shoe uh, works increasing the speed. As you remember from the first uh, version, uh, this is the first and I believe uh, um, the only model available uh, in the market uh, that instead of using a carbon plate, uh, use uh, energy rods uh, uh, aligned with the metadarsal bones, uh, which are lighter than a carbon plate. As you probably have already noticed, uh, if you are using a carbon plate uh, shoe, uh, you can feel the stiffness of the carbon plate, uh, especially in lower stockade shoes uh, already after a few kilometers. The Adios Pros 2 uh, has a carbon plate in the heel as well. These two technologies uh, combined provide uh, stability and stiffening in the midsole. 
Overall, from these two measurements, um, what I have observed is this uh, behavior that at the beginning uh, I said it cannot be true, uh, but doing again the test, um, this was reality and uh, really impressed me and uh, it was a good idea to test the shoe uh, for faster paces than usual. So basically starting from a pace of 3 minutes 30 seconds per kilometer, 5 minutes 37 uh, seconds per mile, the shoe changed completely behavior, like turning on the light. The ground contact time decreased quickly, uh, so it means that the energy roads are uh, activated and the vertical oscillation ratio decreased immediately and stabilized to the same value, uh, increasing the pace. This basically shows the threshold uh, when the shoe uh, starts to work properly, increasing dramatically the efficiency uh, of our running, uh, so it is pretty clear from the figure in the graph. On the other end, I also noticed that the vertical oscillation ratio is higher than other shoes, uh, like the Adios 6, for instance, uh, which uh, has a lower uh, stockade, but the ground contact time is better uh, in the Adios Pro 2. So we have a snappier shoe, which is more bouncier than the other low stockade shoes. Also now, a smooth continental rubber covers the uh, forefoot and it is thicker than uh, you might imagine. Uh, but softer than in the Adio 6, uh, which was too stiff uh, in my opinion. Uh, the Continental Rubber is uh, really grippy, uh, maybe the best grip in the Razer game. I expected these shoes to be crazy and stable, uh, but to me the combination uh, of the outsole grip and uh, its slim profile helped a lot uh, to handle corners and uh, everything else uh, uh, quite nicely. The exposed foam which touched the ground uh, is really nothing, because uh, we have plenty of continental rubber so even if the shoe used the lighter and softer light strike pro form in the uh, adidas lineup uh, in this case i believe it is not an issue at all there is no torsion system because the energy rods are extended throughout the shoe uh, ensuring the stability uh, even if a, a big difference between the first and the uh, second version is that um, the midfoot cutout uh, makes the stability lower um, on the midfoot section, uh, but the positive is that uh, it makes the shoe um, feel more agile. I must say that uh, overall I like this hot sole, especially because the grip and uh, the stability, uh, but as you already know, because you guys uh, brought me several feedback, uh, that in the version 1 uh, uh, they also presented the big signs of wear already after 200 kilometers, uh, and the risk that the energy roads uh, uh, get broken uh, is for real. So I don't know how long they will last. Midsole now. Like most super shoes, uh, the Adi Zero Adios Pro 2 uh, comes with plenty of stock. Uh, but what's interesting about this shoe is the um, plate placement. The carbon fiber plate is wedged in the heel, uh, but there are also, as we said, uh, these carbon infused energy rods uh, that sits in the metal tar salts. The rods are sandwiched in the two layers of uh, Light Strike Pro. Uh, the Adidas lightest uh, foam. I could feel the roads uh, on the toe off more uh, uh, than uh, I noticed a typical uh, carbon fiber plate, uh, but I wasn't annoyed uh, like for other shoes using uh, uh, the carbon plate. Uh, the carbon roads are uh, kind of uh, like a skeleton fingers uh, supposed to mimic your uh, own metatarsal alignment. Using the shoe in different training, uh, slow, wrong repeats and uh, tempo run, uh, I felt them light, highly cushioned and uh, fairly responsive thanks to the midsole and uh, this was confirmed by the running dynamic metrics collected. Measuring the stiffness of the foam using the durometer, I noticed that uh, the stiffness changed uh, measuring it in different parts of the midsole, but overall the foam is uh, softer as expected, uh, so close to the value already collected for this uh, foam even in other shoes like for instance the Adios 6, uh, even if it seems that uh, um, a little bit more stiffer than uh, the foam uh, uh, used in the Adios 6. I must say the Luxury Pro is a joy on the foot, uh, it has some give and um, some bounce uh, without feeling mushy. With the new tooling uh, of the midsole, the foam cutouts, uh, you would think that the Adios Pro 2 uh, would be lighter than the original, but both are heavier than uh, the Nike Valvo Fly Next% uh, 2, uh, 
uh, which weight is uh, uh, 7.4 ounces, uh, 11 grams uh, for the US 10.5 size. Of course, you can feed the energy uh, return from this shoe. Uh, it's basically tangible, uh, but they don't have uh, the rocker in the forefoot, which uh, I love, and uh, most likely could make this shoe even more shining uh, because I had a slightly feeling of flat. So um, for the rolling motion, I believe the shoe could be improved. The heel area is more narrow than the Boston 9 and the Adios 5, uh, pretty similar to the Adios 6, uh, so it is not made for wool and so on the heel because uh, it is not stable at all. Hopper now! Jumping to talk about the Hopper, I love it. Uh, uh, the Hopper Seller Mesh 2.0 is uh, uh, partially recycled uh, polyester that is basically see through. Uh, it's extremely breathable and uh, light and drops and ducks uh, the foot uh, uh, as I like it. There is just a touch of padding on the heel, uh, collar and tongue uh, to protect the top of the foot. At the same time, this upper is strong and not um, too loose at all, uh, like for instance the upper of the Adios 6, uh, so it ensures a great uh, stability as well. The new Cell and Mesh 2.0 is really an airy uh, triumph and uh, it is also durable. Uh, I tried the shoe uh, during a warm day and it was super breathable. The white flat tongue uh, is thin but adds uh, a pillow of protection. Uh, it is not anchored on the sides but it keeps the position pretty well. The laces are traditional and with the usual level added zero in the uh, terminals uh, details that I love as well. I must say that Adidas has my favorite collar and heel construction. Overall, the foot is uh, locked down over the midsole. I love the upper of this shoe and feel uh, it's a better lockdown than uh, some other uh, razors uh, like the next percent, even though the counter is not that rigid. My normal size is US 10, uh, but the size 9.5 fits uh, uh, well and gives uh, a really nice race fit. Uh, even a friend of mine who use uh, a bigger size tried the shoe. They seem fitting uh, to him, so I would suggest for the size uh, uh, to try them in the shop. So the upper, I believe, is one of the best uh, racing uppers I've tested, and uh, maybe uh, its only fault is that uh, could runs an alpha size too large. The insole is thin and uh, sticky. Uh, I believe it doesn't add any cushioning as uh, it should be, uh, considering the quantity of foam uh, uh, used in this shoe. So, in conclusion, uh, uh, considering the running dynamic metrics collect and my first impression, uh, there are no doubts that uh, this shoe is not meant for uh, uh, training. Uh, it would not last longer and uh, it is expensive, 220 euro, uh, but it is specially made for racing. It is suggested for who is able to run a marathon at a fast pace, uh, well under uh, three hours, uh, considering that the uh, threshold that we have uh, uh, seen in the metrics collect uh, is three minutes, 30 seconds per kilometer. The shoe shines uh, when you really pick it up, uh, like uh, at uh, 5K or faster paces. Uh, the faster you go, uh, the better it gets. I have to say honestly uh, that for a 5K, um, I would still prefer to use a Lost AK shoe uh, because um, it is still snappy but uh, with a lower vertical oscillation than the Adios Pro 2. And is it really needed uh, to have uh, all this energy return but uh, less efficiency than a Lost AK uh, shoe which has a lower uh, vertical oscillation ratio? I would like to hear from you your opinion uh, which you um, can leave in the comments here below. So it is suggested for long distance races, um, for fast runners. It is probably good also for short and fast races, uh, but I still prefer low stockade uh, shoes uh, for these short and fast races. But maybe I will change my mind uh, in this regard uh, in the second uh, review video. So guys, this is it. If you liked the video, please don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to support the channel and don't miss any new video. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next one. Ciao. If you like the video please leave a thumbs up uh, so that I like which kind of if you like the video please don't forget to leave a like if you like the video please don't forget to leave a like and uh, you don't want if you like the video please don't forget to if you like the video please don't forget to leave a like if you if you like the video please don't forget to leave a like and if you don't want to leave a